talk. And now it's time for the next uh, talk. And uh, the speaker is Lyubomira Soktova. And uh, the talk is Qualitative Properties of the Weak Solutions of a Kind of Non-Linear Elliptic Systems. Uh, thank you very much. First of all, uh, I wish to thank to the organizers for uh, their uh, efforts uh, to make uh, this uh, event happen. And uh, I would like uh, to thank also for the possibility that they give me the possibility to take part of uh, this uh, conference. So I'm going to talk about uh, some results uh, concerning the boundedness and regularity of the solutions of, uh, of the weak solutions of um, some uh, very non, um, very general non-linear elliptic uh, systems uh, under suitable um, conditions on the structure of the systems. Uh, let me um, start with the introduction of the problem. So we consider non-linear systems of uh, this kind where the operators A and uh, B satisfies the classical Karatio Turi uh, conditions. They are continuous with respect to, measurable with respect to X and continuous with respect to the other uh, variables. And uh, we are interested uh, about uh, the boundaries, as I said, and some regularity of uh, the weak uh, solution of uh, such a system. So, um, mm, uh, we know uh, the classical result of the Georgian Nash uh, that um, show that uh, that show the regularity of the solution of uh, equations, linear equations of divergence form, imposing only L infinity, um, only boundedness of the principal uh, coefficients. And um, this uh, result, this important result, uh, can be extended later also for uh, quasi-linear uh, equations, and a lot of uh, in, um, a lot of results in the, on this argument can be found in the monograph of Ladishin Skat uh, and Toralceva. Uh, unfortunately, the result of the Georgian Nash cannot be extended uh, to weak solutions of elliptic systems, and uh, this has been proved by the George himself. Uh, um, after almost 10 years of his um, not, uh, famous um, result, and uh, constructing um, a counter example. Uh, later, Justi and Miranda uh, showed that uh, this cannot be obtained, uh, boundedness of the solutions cannot be obtained even if the coefficients of the systems are analytic uh, functions because of the lack of maximum principle. But uh, if we impose uh, some uh, restrictions on the structure of the system, we can obtain uh, some partial bo local boundedness or global boundedness. It depends uh, on the conditions that we impose. And uh, also in the monograph of additions can do Alciva, we can find results on the local boundedness of uh, the weak solutions of um, systems that uh, have uh, almost diagonal structure. Uh, more uh, results uh, concerning um, almost diagonal uh, systems can be found uh, in the work of Landis uh, by 1989. And uh, he obtained also um, where he obtained boundedness of the, of the weak solutions. There are a lot of uh, results concerning um, nonlinear systems in, under various structural conditions. Uh, so I cannot list uh, everything, but I wish to mention uh, some of them. Um, the first result that I wish to mention is uh, this of Natchez and Stara that impose diagonal structure of the system for big values of the solutions. For So for each component of the solution U alpha, uh, uh, greater than some positive uh, constant, the uh, system uh, becomes diagonal. And uh, under this condition and the natural um, growth condition of the operator, they uh, uh, prove um, a kind of maximum, uh, ma a kind of maximum principle. This result has been extended by Leonetti and uh, Petrica uh, later, considering uh, such kind of uh, nonlinear systems. Uh, that uh, also for big values of the components of the solution U. Uh, satisfies component-wise uh, coercivity condition of such kind. So for each other alpha fixed, 
we have uh, co uh, co um, coercivity condition on the operator a, a alpha well the operator b is uh, just non-negative and the non-function a belongs to suitable um, lp space under this condition uh, these conditions uh, they obtain a kind of maximum principle where uh, here uh, we have a constant that depends um, on the LP norm of the right hand side and um, also on the data of uh, the that we find in the coercivity uh, condition. This result, um, we have extended uh, this result, uh, imposing again a component wise coercivity condition and natural growth conditions of the nonlinear operators A and B in order to ensure convergence of the integrals that we find in the definition of weak solution. Uh, so uh, for each alpha, he, we suppose that the operator A satisfies this uh, coercivity condition, but the dependence on X is expressed is expressed by uh, Morey functions. So if he belongs to the more more space LP lambda, where uh, P is greater, just greater than two, and uh, P plus lambda is greater than uh, N. Well, the uh, operator B, uh, on the operator B, we impose just a non-negative condition. Under these um, assumptions, we uh, prove a kind of uh, maximum principle that permits um, us to obtain later L infinity estimate for the solution and also uh, more irregularity of the gradient. Uh, this result uh, can be extended uh, later by Polagachev and me uh, for uh, nonlinear uh, systems of, uh, such, uh, in such form under more general conditions uh, on the operators A and B. So uh, what is our contribution to, uh, to the study of the boundaries, to the study of nonlinear systems? Um, we consider the main uh, omega, which satisfies uh, two sided version of the con, uh, of the con condition. Uh, that is, uh, there exists a positive constant less than uh, one, such that this inequality holds. So uh, this inequality two side condition ensures first of all the validity of the Sobolev embedding theorems, and on the other side the uh, the validity of more embedding theorems, the embeddings between the barrier uh, Mori spaces. Since our goal is to study the regularity in the Mori spaces of the gradient of uh, the solution. So uh, the measure of the uh, intersection of any ball with centered. Uh, in some point x on the boundary can be compared with the measure of the same uh, ball. Uh, we uh, impose. Excuse me, uh, on the previous slide, uh, uh, is uh, R uh, the same as rho? Yes, no, 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 this is wrong. This is wrong. This okay, is wrong. thank you. This is wrong. Just, uh, just uh, misprint. So, um, what are the structural what are the uh, conditions that we impose? First of all, controlled growth conditions on the operator A and B that, uh, as I said, ensure the, the convergence of the integrals in the definition of the um, weak solution. And here, the functions phi and uh, psi belong uh, to uh, some uh, uh, suitable Mori spaces. Component-wise coercivity of the differential operator uh, A, which is of this kind, for each alpha fixed, we have this uh, coercivity, uh, coercivity condition, and uh, the more irregularity of the data. So the function phi C belong to uh, suitable uh, Mori spaces. Mm, where um, let me recall the definition of Mori space for any function f uh, belonging to some Lebesgue space L r uh, belongs to the Mori space L r lambda with lambda between zero and n if uh, this norm is uh, bounded. Uh, recall that if lambda is equal to zero, then the, to, um, the Mori and Lebesgue spaces coincide, and if lambda is equal to n 
and uh, the boundary of omega satisfies the external cone condition, then uh, uh, the Lebesgue, the Mori space is subs uh, subspace of the L infinity. Uh, even they coincide with if the boundary satisfies uh, that condition. In, al in an alternative of the um, controlled growth condition for um, B, we can impose a component-wise controlled uh, growth condition. In alternative, the hypothesis uh, one. But uh, this uh, condition is weaker, so uh, we have we need in this case we need of a component-wise uh, sign condition for the term uh, B. Also for each fixed alpha component alpha u alpha of the vector solution. Under this hypothesis, uh, we prove the following uh, result. Assume that the boundary satisfies uh, double con condition. Double con condition. Uh, the um, component wise coercivity of the principal operator holds. The more irregularity of uh, the data holds. And uh, suppose that all um, control growth condition holds or component wise control growth condition along with the um, component wise uh, signed condition of the lower order uh, of the operator be uh, are var uh, verified. Then one uh, or uh, just control growth or this uh, weaker condition, but uh, assuming uh, adding also condition on the operator B. Then uh, any weak solution uh, from the space W node one uh, P um, of uh, our system is essentially bounded uh, with uh, a constant depending on uh, known quantities and also on the LP norm of the gradient. Well, how uh, I just will give an uh, idea of the proof. So what we use to prove this result, we use uh, trace inequality. That is analog of, uh, of the Sobolev uh, uh, inequality. So if uh, M is a positive Radon measure, such that the measure of a bow with radius rho can uh, be estimated um, with respect, the measure with, uh, of a bow with respect to this measure don't measure M, can be estimated with some constant and row up to a constant or up to power A, with the power depending on, the, on Q, uh, T, and uh, N. It is, uh, can, it is less than uh, N. Then the LQ norm of a function V with respect to the Radon measure can be estimated with a constant and the LT uh, norm of the gradient with respect to the Lebesgue measure. And uh, this holds for each uh, V from the uh, Sobolev space uh, W1T, uh, zero boundary. The other inequality that we use is a, is a kind of maximum principle due to Hartmann and Stampakia. So um, if tau is a positive, uh, non-negative, uh, non-increasing function with uh, such a property, there, are, uh, there exist constants, uh, suitable constants, such that the integral taken from some um, positive and big enough constant k to infinity of this function can be estimated with uh, the value of the function in the point k up to some power bigger than one if the function tau satisfies this integrality condition, then there exists a number k maximum big enough such that tau of k is equal to zero for each k greater than uh, this k maximum. Uh, uh, another one result that uh, we need and uh, we uh, obtain following um, the idea of um, Jacquin, the following the, um, using the, uh, which is analog of getting Jacquin the modical lemma and uh, um, using the reverse Hyoder inequality is the following result that uh, gives a higher integrability of the gradient. So uh, suppose that from the control growth condition and the condition on the boundary hold, and if the function phi fc belongs just to the Lebesgue spaces, 
so it is not necessary to to to, um, to take them from the more spaces. In fact, we take in the in the assumptions on the regularity on TFC, we take we consider also lambda and mu equal to zero, so we can include also the more the Lebesgue um, regularity of uh, the functions P and C. Along with this uh, coercivity condition that, uh, in fact, follows immediately from the component-wise coercivity, then uh, if U is a weak solution from the space W1P, then exists uh, some positive number epsilon such that the gradient belongs to LQ with Q greater than P, belonging to this interval P and P plus uh, epsilon. So, we have a little bit uh, better integrability of the gradient, some Q a little bit bigger than P. Then uh, taking, having uh, this uh, lemma, the hypothesis uh, that we, uh, the conditions that we impose, structural conditions that we impose on the operator, and um, making use of the Sobolev embedding um, theorem, uh, we can assert that uh, there exists some positive now some number p node greater than p um, such that any weak uh, solution of our system belongs to this sovereign space and uh, this estimate holds with p not uh, bigger than p so uh, in order to apply uh, this uh, two lemma we define a measure M in a such a way, then, then the measure of, uh, we can estimate uh, all these integrals and the measure of um, ball uh, B with radius rho can be estimated in such a way. Where here, in order to estimate this uh, measure, uh, we uh, use the uh, uh, structural conditions and the control growth conditions uh, at the beginning. Delta depends on, the, on the, all these constants that we find in the regularity conditions. And after that, we introduce a function so W capital, which is the maximum of the modules of uh, U alpha, and the uh, super level sets omega k, which are set, which have, um, consist of uh, it, all uh, points in omega for which uh, this function is greater than uh, k. Um, by the assumptions we have that U alpha belongs to this uh, Sobolev, to the intersection of these two Sobolev spaces and uh, satisfies the um, condition, the estimate that uh, I wrote before. And the, uh, hence also W capital belongs to uh, this uh, Sobolev uh, space. Then by the trace inequality, in fact, here the, uh, the calculus are by, um, by the technical, so I omit them. Uh, by the trace inequality, we obtain that uh, the integral of uh, this uh, quantity Wx minus k, which is the integral of the measure of the level set uh, omega t, where um, uh, W is greater than uh, t, can be estimated with um, the measure of omega k, so the set where uh, omega w is greater than k up to some power greater than one. In fact, this is the condition that we find in the hartmann stampakia lemma, uh, taking uh, in which we take the function tau. Um, the function uh, tau is equal to the measure of the level set omega t. Then uh, from uh, the Stampakia lemma, we uh, can obtain that um, there exists some k greater than uh, um, some k maximum, such that this uh, the measure of this set becomes zero. That is, wx is uh, less or equal to k uh, less or equal of k maximum, which else uh, which gives exactly uh, L infinity estimate of the solution our system. Uh, this is in the case of P less than one and if uh, P less than uh, N and if P is equal N, uh, the estimate, um, the calculus are easier and uh, the estimate follows uh, directly from the pi integrability result and also from the Sobolev uh, embedding theorem. 
One uh, uh, consequence of this result is the more irregularity of uh, the gradient. So uh, suppose that P is less than N, and uh, suppose that uh, our structural conditions and uh, regularity condition of the boundary hold. And um, if U is a bounded uh, L infinity solution, weak solution of um, our system, then the gradient belongs to this uh, Mori space, Ln and minus uh, P. And uh, Mori norm can be uh, estimated with uh, some constant depending on known quantities and also on the L infinity norm uh, of the solution. Um, and just the last application that I wish to mention, uh, we study the um, better regularity of quasi-linear elliptic systems. And in this case, we impose component by square CVT, uh, which is con uh, this condition, in fact, follows directly from the component by square CVT condition that we wrote before. And um, natural controlled growth conditions on the nonlinear terms. And under uh, these uh, assumptions, we um, prove. Uh, that the gradient belongs to um, L R new Mori space with uh, L, which is the minimum between the data P and Q star mu, where uh, P and Q are the constants that we, found, we can find in the Mori, uh, in the assumptions of Mori regularity. And also new is the minimum of this quantity, which uh, are the constants that we can find in the uh, Mori regularity of the data. And uh, this is just a sum of the references that I have used uh, in, in our study. Thank you for the attention. Thank you very much. Uh, time for question. Luba, uh, could you uh, show uh, maybe two, uh, stop, uh, stop. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. And uh, I, I have a comment. Uh, I think that uh, the uh, th uh, theorem of Adams, uh, the first result of this type uh, for t equal to one was proved by Mazia uh, in 60s. Uh, uh, yes, uh, we see, we mentioned also Mazia in our, mm -hmm. uh, in our work, we see also this result, but uh, uh, I just uh, okay. used the result of, uh, by calculus, uh, just by, by calculus, okay, thank you. calculus. But we have mentioned also the result of Mazia in, the, in our paper. In fact, there is also another references in the paper. Yeah. Okay, uh, but uh, uh, you have only directly boundary conditions. Can you prove similar results for other boundary conditions? Um, we didn't consider um, other boundary conditions, but um, uh, it could be Uh, it it could it it could be a question for for, um, uh, for con normal uh, could be considered the case of con normal uh, conditions on the boundary. We just uh, didn't consider such uh, other boundary conditions, but um, intuitively, probably it can be extended also to con normal conditions. Okay. Uh if there are no more questions, so thank you again. Thank you.